smartly learn with fun today's topic is types of glaciers so first we see what is a glacier a glacier is a large perennial accumulation of crystalline ice snow rock sediment and often liquid water that originates on land and moves down slope under the influence of its own weight and gravity typically glaciers exist and may even form in areas where annual temperatures are close to the freezing point winter precipitation produces significant accumulation of snow temperatures throughout the rest of the year do not result in the complete loss of the previous winter's snow accumulation over multiple decades this continuing accumulation of snow results in the presence of a large enough mass of snow for the metamorphism from snow to glacier ice process to begin now let's go to see types of glaciers here are some types of glaciers and the characteristics that make them unique ice sheets ice sheets are continental scale bodies of ice although the only two modern day ice sheets are in greenland and antarctica much of northern north america including many of our national parks was shaped by ice sheets during the last ice age ice fields and ice caps ice fields and ice caps are smaller than ice sheets they are also large bodies of ice that collect in high elevation catchment areas and are drained by smaller outlet glaciers cirque and alpine glaciers alpine glaciers originate high in the mountains in many of our national parks when they form in small bowls with steep sides they are known as cirque glaciers tide water and fresh water glaciers tide water and fresh water glaciers are formed on land but terminate in bodies of water they often carp to produce floating chunks of glacier ice known as icebergs rock glaciers rock glaciers are often mantled with a thick layer of rock and debris this rock and debris shields them from ablation which means they can persist in areas where melt rates might be too high to sustain large alpine glaciers for this reason they can be found in many parks with high mountains in the contiguous united states hanging glaciers a hanging glacier begins high in the mountains and often will feed into a belly glacier rather than flowing uninterrupted however hanging glaciers stop abruptly usually at a cliff they then carp or feed valley glaciers through avalanches and ice falls they can also trigger rockfall and landslides outlet glaciers when a glacier flows out of an ice sheet ice cap or ice field it's called an outlet glacier outlet glaciers flow downhill where a gap between mountains forms a low point as such they are generally hemmed in on the sides by exposed bedrock belly glaciers a glacier found in a low lying area below mountain peaks is called a belly glacier they can form in several different ways if an outlet glacier is not impeded by terrain it can flow downhill and become a belly glacier they can also form independent of outlet glaciers in high mountainous regions yosemite belly is a classic example of the steep bald flat floored belly carved by an ancient glacier
पीडमोंट ग्लेशियर्स पीडमोंट ग्लेशियर्स फॉर्म एट द एंड ऑफ वैली ग्लेशियर्स व्हेन दे फ्लो इनटू वाइड फ्लैट एरियाज पीडमोंट ग्लेशियर्स आर मार्क्ड बाय देयर वाइड वुल ब्लैक अपीयरेंस एंड द लार्ज लो लाइंग एरियाज दे ऑक्युपाई अलास्कास मलस्पिना ग्लेशियर इज द लार्जेस्ट पीडमोंट ग्लेशियर इन द वर्ल्ड covering about 1500 square miles of coastal plain thanks for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe